But, but speaker, uh, maybe you could also clarify as the answers my earlier question on the pending bills and everything else I'm I asked. Uh, is, are you also aware that those roads, as much as they are tall, they are also public assets because they are built on Correct. public land? Correct. And uh, I see you are more encouraging more of investment to benefit the, the, the investors uh, who would be investing on those roads. But what of the ordinary Kenyan taxpayer? Because, for instance, let me use the expressway. Mm -hmm. If they collect so much money within a shorter period, we should be looking at concessions that are less years. Correct. And also the cost of building those tall roads, as you say, is also a matter, is it a matter that is of concern to you Correct. as the incoming minister? Or are we going to see an escalation of costs for tall roads? Because if they were cheaper, then the concessions would be lower, and these assets will revert back to the public within a shorter period to benefit the people of Kenya, not just investors. I don't know whether that, that, the Chinese investors or the Chinese in quotes uh, are more worthy of those investments than the Kenyan people. I, I totally agree with the Honorable uh, Kimani Chungwa, Mr. Speaker. The negotiation of the expressway, there were flaws. Uh, some of the flaws were basically, okay, the Kenyan government decided that they are not going to take the risk just in case he, the investor is not going to meet his investment targets. But a proper calculation would have shown that in the fullness of time, that risk will not be there. And that's why I'm saying we must change from the model of the expressway, because the expressway now, the investor took his risk, but investor is taking a greater benefit in the long run. Number two is a public asset. We gave them the, the land that they are using to construct the road. It's not, that's not just enough that also the other road, which is another problem we'll come to deal later with, is Mr. Speaker, the road below uh, has not been, uh, has been destroyed and has been left, Mr. Speaker, in a more dilapidated stage. Again, there was a fund that was supposed to be uh, uh, given by the government of Kenya to ensure that the roads are restored because the utility uh, 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 the people who are in charge of the utilities the water, the internet and so forth uh, Mr. Speaker, in the process of relocating those utilities uh, it, it messed up the road. I really uh, fear that if it rains soon we'll have a serious problem of flooding in Imara Daima and those areas and, and corrective measures are being worked out by Kenya National Highway Authority to, stall, to deal with that issue. On the question of financing again uh, uh, Honorable Kimani Chung has raised a very important issue. In the short term uh, Mr. Speaker, we have a problem let me just say this, we have a problem we have, we are inheriting this administration is inheriting 100, nearly 140 billion shillings in the infrastructure sector, as particularly the roads Mr. Speaker, the reason why the roads have stalled is because we are unable to pay the contractors and Mr. Speaker, the money to pay the contractors is not there because we have committed that money to other sectors, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, or we maybe we chewed more than we could, uh, uh, we, we, we beat more than we could chew, Mr. Speaker. And so the problem here is that we are proposing, and the government of Kenya is proposing in its manifesto that, Mr. Speaker, we will do a uh, uh, securitization, but more importantly, and I think quickly, Mr. Speaker, we will use the road maintenance levy uh, to, Mr. Speaker, uh, guarantee a one-off uh, Mr. Speaker, a bond, infrastructure bond, that should be raised, pay off all the pending bills, and make sure that in line with the uh, plans we give the people of Kenya, we make sure that we complete the roads so that we achieve the equity we are talking about. We also want to safeguard, um, Mr. Speaker, this uh, parliament passed in the last, uh, towards the end of parliament, they passed a law to take more of the uh, road maintenance levy to development. I think those are things we will sit down to review because we must also, as we construct the roads, we must maintain. 